I'm back. Feel a bit better. <clears throat> All right. Probably not going to be on for too much longer. Um, I'm feeling... It's weird, right? Like, I really want to be working on writing right now. And I feel good about it. And I feel creative. I have all these thoughts for projects that I'm working on. But... Like, whatever... The, the concepts that I'm working with here aren't really pulling me in the right ways. Like I'm not feeling like I, I want to be doing them this exact moment sort of thing. That's a weird feeling of like knowing that you want to be creative and create and do things, but at the same time, oh, my bad, sorry, <laughs> sounds. Um, but, but not having that like it's not even motivation because I feel motivated like just that like indecision I guess it's weird it's very weird Right, but the ones I want to do are stuff that uh, I don't want to stream. Like, they're personal projects that I want to keep off stream. myself to a high standard. I mean, you're very right. I could just be making it hard on myself, but maybe not. It's hard to say.
Yeah, but I mean, this week is not done. And I don't think any momentary hesitation that happens today is, is going to ruin my week. I am looking forward to this week. I'm looking forward to being very productive this week. I don't know. I guess I'll uh, I'll work on your story, Johnny. The one for your art project. Do you know how many uh, or about how many words you want it to be? No, no, I want to know how many words it should be. I know what the picture looks like. Actually, I should put the picture up. I should explain what I'm doing, too. That would probably help. Hello. Uh, hello. Picture. That's huge. Oh, my God. So, this is the uh, picture that Johnny sent me. Uh, she wants to put text uh, here on this side. And uh, she wants it, she gave me a, the idea for the story that she wants. Um, but I have a solid 
I've been thinking about it all week, so I've I've had a solid uh, like a solid idea of what I want to do for it. So, uh, that being said, I'm gonna close some of this stuff. I keep this open on my other window, other monitor here, so I can see it. The only question I had, Ronnie, was um, what time period is this supposed to be? Like, is it a modern thing? I never really got a good sense for uh, the setting. Eighteenth century. Okay. I thought it was something like that, but I got confused because the image looks a lot more modern than that. of fishermen. Well, that's okay, I don't need a super up-to-date image. I just meant that good sense when uh, when I was looking at it that's fine we're good okay so yeah that's what I saw That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> that new image, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Oh Jesus, why are you doing this? I was doing this to me earlier. Firefox is not working properly or something. It's been giving me all kinds of issues. Okay, we're good. We're good. So nothing is expanding properly. So 
hell? I don't even know. Okay, that's fine. I assume you want the language to be somewhat modern as well. I'd like to do this a little bit more slangy, um, but I want to get kind of all my thoughts down on paper first before I 
before I did that.
Oh man. Sorry, I missed all those messages. My uh, my chat was not updating. So, hey basement, <laughs> sorry I didn't see you. I apologize. My stuff was not updating properly, I couldn't see anything.
right. Yeah, that changes things a little bit, but not a, a bunch. The only problem with bioluminescence is bioluminescence implies that it's a deep water creature and deep water fishing is not really a thing. Not in the way, not that deep anyway. Like we're talking, we're talking way deep. Fair enough. I just I just meant like that's when you when you study nature like that's what that implies. They don't necessarily need to have them, to be honest. We just assume because they're anthro anthropomorph anthropomorphic that they have people genitals. They don't necessarily need to. They could theoretically reproduce the same way that fish do, in which case means laying eggs. fertilizing them so you know it doesn't necessarily have to be
Hey, Urban, what's up, man? <laughs> Good luck, man. Good luck. Cool. I think that's that's about all I'm going to do on that. This time. I'll probably do a second draft, uh, but I'll probably do it off screen. But yeah, I need to end today on a productive note. And I had already planned sort of what I wanted to do with this. So yeah, <laughs> went with that for sure. But you know, I will be, I will be streaming every day uh, this week. So uh, look forward to that. And I, I will try very hard to not let it be unproductive. <laughs> Sometimes this happens. Sometimes, you know, there's stuff that you want to work on and it isn't what you should be working on, but it, it you do want to work on it. Well, see, I had a thought drawing when I was, when I was thinking about it this week and you can't actually put a full story on the page or, or it becomes very, very inauthentic. So I was like, you also can't put all the different perspectives in there. Like to a fisherman, the mer people, to a fisherman, the mer people probably seem like animals, right? So, he isn't going to necessarily understand her logic or drive for why she does what she does uh, as presented by you. So I didn't try to present that. I didn't try to make him like, oh my God, I'm a terrible person or anything like that. Cause I don't buy it. I don't buy the fisherman thinking he's a terrible person. <laughs> it doesn't make very much sense from a character perspective. Um, especially because, you know, society 
never really treated fishermen as monsters. Like, that's just not a thing. Well, yeah, exactly. She wouldn't, she wouldn't write a diary. That's not something that she would do. And, and I also felt like you were trying to make the mer person into a good guy way too hard. And I don't think she's necessarily a bad guy, it's just, it didn't sit right with me. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, um, that's going to be about it for me for today. I'll sit on this and I'll have to take a look at it later. Uh, but I can close that down. Close that. So yeah, um, I'm going to go up to the big cam here. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed today. It was a little slow. I admit it was a little slow. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow at 12, 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're going to work on a short story for sure. Um, and yeah, expect, expect fun things, fun things. I'll be more fun. I promise. I promise. So yeah, um, without further ado, uh, my name is Brendan, and this is Accidental Origin, your weekly writing rap show. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at, at FreakLabMishap, uh, a play on the trope for Accidental Lab Accident, Accidental Lab Accident, <laughs> Freak Lab Accident. Um, as well as you can check out all the bods and extra resources at the URL below. It's, it's over here. Over here. Oh, no. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah. Check it out down there. Um, yeah. So, thanks for hanging with me, guys. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>